Oh, Gus, come on. Come on, let me hold you. Gus. You don't like kisses? Oh, Gus, why? Why do you hate me? <laughs> why do my guinea pigs hate me? Hey, it's Scotty. I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and the good news is your guinea pigs don't hate you. Probably. Bengal, do you hate me? This is Bengal. He is one of my piggies. He is a foster fail, and uh, that's how we do it around here. So let's talk about some preconceptions about guinea pigs that maybe you have wrong that is causing you to think that your guinea pigs hate you. And then along the way, we're going to talk about some strategies of taming and gaining your piggies trust. And I have, uh, I have links in the description to a free guinea pig care guide that I put together. And there's an entire taming section. I've got an entire taming playlist. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put some videos up on the screen that I recommend you watch. If you want more tips on how to tame your piggies, how to build their trust. So one of the biggest misconceptions that I hear about guinea pigs is that they should act like dogs. Guinea pigs are not dogs. They are prey animals and they're not going to behave the same way. If you think you're going to sit on the couch and your guinea pig is just going to run over by your side and look up and beg and climb into your lap and just be super happy and be petted and scratched. It's not exactly like that. It's not to say that they don't have some similarities with dogs. They certainly do. They do beg for treats. They are cuddly. They do enjoy touches on their terms. And so we're going to talk about that too. Another preconception or misconception about guinea pigs is to speak in generalizations. A lot of the advice on this channel that I give is about generalizations, but you've always got to realize that the individual personalities of your piggies is going to be more important and play a bigger role in what's going on with them than any generalization that you have. So, um, you want to take their specific personalities into account. So as I said, guinea pigs are prey animals and they act like that. That means that they are often scared or they don't trust you. They need to feel safe. They need to feel secure in ways that dogs and other animals don't necessarily feel or will display. So they, they, that's why Bengal is in this tunnel right now because it gives him a soft platform. He feels safe, he feels protected, but you gotta realize, you gotta understand that piggies are homebodies. In the free guinea pig care guide, there's a whole section about taming, and there are videos from this channel embedded there. There's videos about learning about their sounds, their, the type of, of sounds that guinea pigs make, because the more you can understand their sounds, their vocalizations, their body language, the more you can act accordingly. Another thing that I have on there are tips about how to hold them, how to pick them up that is not going to frighten them. You know, you don't want to just grab them, chase them around with your scary hands. You don't want to be, you know, grabbing them because they're going to run from you. You got to put the time in to build trust. Trust is not something that comes overnight. Relationships that are built on trust, they take time. And this is the time that you put in is really should be joyful. You know, building a connection with your piggies takes time, but it's totally worth it. And that's the time that you get to spend with them. Right, Bengal? So I was just saying that Bengal and piggies are homebodies. They want to be in their space. So I'm going to put him back because we've pretty much hit his uh, patience threshold. When you're holding your piggies, oftentimes they have a time limit. And usually it's about 15 minutes and they're going to they're gonna pee on you. They're going to want to go back. 
having a cuddle cup, a cuddle sack, a tunnel, something to hold them in, even if it's just a towel or a blanket, uh, if they if they have to pee but oftentimes they'll start to get fidgety and they don't want to pee on you they're like take me back take me back home holding them I'd rather hold my piggies five times for a minute or a few minutes five minutes rather than just for 30 minutes once a day that's why I really think you will benefit from having a large CNC cage with an open top if you can keep it up on a table, that's great uh, because, you know, my piggies that are on the floor, well, a lot of them are very tame because I do put in the time and I pick them up. But you can see towering over your piggies versus having them up at your height. When you've got your piggies up uh, at your level, then they don't feel like you're towering over them and they accept you and they are more likely to become trusting of you. And I think the most important piece of advice that I could give you is respect them and accept them for who they are. Guinea pigs, as I said, they have individual personalities. And if you take the time to love them, get to know them and appreciate their individual personalities and respect them, respect their boundaries, just because they are little and just because you can pick them up and take them wherever you want, doesn't necessarily mean that you should. If they're napping, you know, let them be. If they're eating, let them be. You have to draw that fine line. You have to figure out when it's appropriate to pick them up, when it's appropriate to pet them, and when you should respect them and respect their space. And, and that's the biggest thing is respect. And you're not gonna build trust if you don't respect them, if you don't treat them with the respect that they deserve. You treat them like the individual personalities that they are. And I guarantee that if you treat them with respect and you love them and you are open to learning about their personalities and treating them accordingly, instead of forcing what you want them to be onto them, if you, because some piggies are shy, some piggies are scared, and if you have adopted your piggies, then you don't know necessarily what the situation they were in before. And if you got them from a pet shop, then same thing is they might have gone through some really difficult times uh, before they were sent to the pet shop. Uh, they may have been ill when they were young. It just in general, it's up to us to give them that safe environment, that feeling of security and be patient Trust takes time. Can I scratch your nose? Yay! Yay! Ooh -hee. Ee -hee. So I really hope you will check out my free guinea pig care guide on my website. The taming section is going to really help you build that trust build that, that uh, loving connection that you have with your piggies. So I hope that you found this video uh, at least reassuring that no, your piggies don't hate you, but maybe you just have a preconception about what it was like to have piggies and the strong individual personalities of your piggies is making that not exactly what you expected, but that's okay. It's a surprise that our piggies are who they are and it's up to us to love them and to support them. So here is a video about guinea pig sounds and what they mean and how to speak guinea pig. And then here is a video about some tips on how to pick up your piggies and to get them to trust you. So I hope that you find these valuable as well. Let me know in the comments. Did any of this help you? Are you feeling a little bit better about your relationship with your piggies?